guys. It's Corey, that's DK hunting here. <clears throat> we are, thought that was a deer. We are on set in Ohio. It's September 30th. <clears throat> this is the, uh, this is the second set that I've had this year. Yesterday came out, saw two shooters. Um, one top of the hit list over here at this one farm. Um, probably 165, 170. Came out about 100 yards and went to standing corn. I'm overlooking uh, standing beans right now. Um, last day of September, like I said. Last year we got it done on October 2nd on standing beans. Now it was on the different part of the farm um, and a deer that was very, very patterned. Um, don't really have anything like that this year, patterned wise. Um, do have some very big deer on camera though. So it's. Uh, it was 38 degrees this morning. I had to work a little early, even on a cold snap, to get bucks really frisky and moving. Um, it's about 60 right now. It's going to get down to about 50 by the time uh, shooting light's done. So, these beans are still semi green. Um, a lot of yellowing going on, but they came out last night. Four bucks came to it last night. Um, don't have work tomorrow probably going to shoot a doe tonight if I get a chance. So, um, got to break in the old uh, Black Widow over here. Um, the new Matthews V3 uh, that I picked up for this season. Jumped off of Elite. Um, back to Matthews where I originally started. So, uh, got to get it uh, Got to get it a kill. Um, got new arrows, new bow. Got the uh, new Ozonix HR500 going up there absolutely love that thing um, all controlled by your phone comes with an XL battery great for those all-day sets um, I won't go to the woods without no Sonics anymore so yeah so a lot going on um, we've still got me and Matt on the channel we've added two guys uh, Jess and Kendall um, so we're gonna be your guys are gonna be seeing content from a lot of different guys this year got me up in Ohio, Matt and Kendall down in Arkansas, Jess is in Oklahoma, um, Matt's coming up here the first week of November again, um, hopefully be a little squirrel running around, hopefully be a little cooler than what it was last year when he was up, so we'll sit on these beans tonight, um, Harvest is just getting into a swing here. Got a lot of beans coming off. Guys are starting higher moisture corn, 25, 26% moisture corn. Um, corn on an average is probably across the state at 24, 23 right now. Um, so a lot of stuff's going to be coming off really quick. So these deer's patterns are going to change pretty, pretty quickly here as we uh, move forward in the next week or two. So. Uh, yeah, we've only got two bucks over here that we'd probably give a, give the stick to this early. Um, does, like I said, though, on patrol for a doe tonight, for sure. Um, get some meat in the freezer. Break the break the rust off. Um, get one on the new bow. Hopefully lay it down all on film for you guys here. So, Deer start moving about 7 o'clock. Um, probably going to just sit back until then. might have a deer in the corn over there right now. I just saw some movement in the corn about 120 yards away. Um, but I'm going to sit back tight here and uh, just wait for him to come out in these beans and see if we can't get one here, uh, get one laid out tonight. So you guys stay tuned. Hopefully we're going to have a great season here at STK. Hopefully have many, many, many kills on camera this year. I've already got three tags in my pocket. I can shoot a total of six here. Um, for all you rule checkers, it's because I can hunt two counties in Ohio uh, across the family farm. Um, each county is a three deer limit um, and still be within state bag limit um, for the for Ohio. So three deer in Wayne, three deer in Medina, um, one buck total. So I can shoot five does and a buck. Probably save a couple of doe tags for the gun season, maybe one for late season bow or late season gun. Um, and then the rest we'll just try to fill them early season here and then the buck is whenever. So 
You guys stay tuned. Thank you for all your support for SDK over the last couple of years. We are going to hit it really hard this year. We got merch coming out. We've got a podcast in the works. We've got plenty of guys filming. We're going to have a lot of joint hunts with each other this year. So hopefully you guys can spread the word for us and uh, get us some views here. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, everything. Let us know what we can do for you guys. Let us know what we can do different. Let us know what you want to see here. So I'm going to log off for now. Hopefully see you later this evening. You guys rock.
Okay, well, we didn't get much intro this morning. Um, had a, uh, oh, got my rangefinder falling off here. Kind of wanted to be quiet here. I'm hunting in Grandpa's backyard. A lot of does come out here to eat all these apple trees. <clears throat> we got one on film here, so doing the intro after the kill this time. I'm jazzed up. That's the first kill with the Matthews, man. She didn't, she didn't go anywhere. I stuck her good. Uh, complete pass through at 23 yards. Absolutely smoked her. So I'd say it's either it's, if it ain't if it ain't hard, it's <laughs> right in through them lungs. So oh, it's like 50 degrees. I'm I'm all jazzed up. It's like shooting a buck when it's first deer of the season, man. Oh man, I'm excited. It's all on film here. So finally have some some footage here for you guys. That is the first deer I've killed uh, with a bow on film. So. An accomplishment for me so hopefully keep doing it this year and we're gonna climb down here and get on the blood trail and uh, show you the rest of it well as you guys can see kind of standing in front of this tree here but we got good blood on the arrow so we're about to pick up the blood trail here she did not go far oh got her recovered here Nice big Ohio doe. It's, uh, September 30th. No, October 1st today. October 1st today. I'm a day behind. Uh, she didn't go maybe 80, 90 yards. Got a good double lung shot on her. Uh, gonna fill the freezer. Get a little freezer queen in there and uh, have some good uh, have some good backstrap and tenderloin here. So we're gonna get her dressed out here before it gets uh, too warm. Get her home. Get her taken care of and get this video up for you guys to see. Thanks for watching.